topic for today is mixed numbers. Okay, first, what is mixed numbers? Mixed numbers are combination of whole number and or plus a proper fraction. Example, we have one and one half. One is the whole number plus one half is the proper fraction. Okay? Okay, mixed numbers. Again, combination of whole number plus a proper fraction. Let's say 1 and 4 fifth. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is equivalent to 5 over 5 or simply equals to 1. So 1 is the whole number. Plus 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is equivalent to 4 over 5, which is the proper fraction. Okay. Next, let's rewrite these fractions. Okay, we have 3 and 3 fourths. So, how, how many whole numbers? 1, 2, and 3. So, one circle has 4 parts. So, it is 4 over 4, which is equivalent to 1. So, we have 1, 2, and 3 whole. So, we have 3 whole. Plus, 3 fourths. So, 1, 2, and 3. So, 3 fourths. So, that's our fraction. Okay? Okay, let's make it. Let's make it easy. So 5 and 1 third. How do we write 5 and 1 third? So, 5 plus 1 third. 7 and 4 ninth. How do we rewrite 7 and 4 ninth? 7 plus 4 over 9. Okay. Again, 10 and 5 8. So, this equals to 10 plus 5 8. Another is 3 and 1 fifth. is also equals to 3 plus 1 fifth. Okay. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's proceed. Let's go to addition of mixed numbers. Okay, so let's add. We have 4 plus 10, 5, 8. So, how do we add? Let's write first the, uh, the first number, which is 4. So, 4 plus 10 and 5, 8. So, we have to rewrite 10 and 5, 8, which is equals to 10 plus 5 over 8. Okay, so next we add the whole number which is 14 and then the 5 over 8. So our answer is 4 plus 10, 5, 8 is equals to 14, 5, 8. Another example, 2 plus 3, 1 fifth. So again, we write 2 plus Rewrite the mixed number, so 3 plus 1 fifth. So, let's add first the whole number, which is 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. And then the fraction, which is 1 fifth. Therefore, 2 plus 3 and 1 fifth is equals to 5 and 1 fifth. Okay. Next. We have 7... 2 fifth plus 1 fifth. Okay, so we have two fractions. Again, we rewrite this as 7 plus 2 fifth plus 1 fifth. Okay, so we, we have one whole number. So we just write the whole number, which is 7. And then the fraction. Since we have like terms, we simply add the numerator. So 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 over 5. So, 7 and 2 fifth 
plus 1 fifth is equals to 7 and 3 fifth. Next. Okay, so we write, we rewrite 9 and 2 seventh. So 9 plus 2 seventh plus 4 seventh. Again, one whole number. So we simply write the whole number, which is 9. We have a the fractions have this um, like like denominator so like terms so we simply add the numerator so 2 plus 4 is 6 so 9 and 2 7 plus 4 7 is equals to 9 6 7 okay you follow okay again we add mixed numbers. So we have 2 and 1 fifth plus 4 and 2 fifth. So we have two mixed numbers. So what do we do? We rewrite this mixed numbers. So we have 2 plus 1 fifth plus 4 plus 2 fifth. And then we combine the whole numbers and we combine the fraction. So we rewrite this as 2 plus 4 plus 1 fifth plus 2 fifth. We add the whole number. 2 plus 4 is 6. And the fractions which have like terms. So we add the numerator. 1 plus 2 is 3 fifth. Okay. So 2 and 1 fifth plus 4 and 2 fifth is equals to 6 and 3 fifth. Okay, easy. Okay, let's do the other way. Again, we have 2 and 1 fifth plus 4 and 2 fifth. But this time, we add it vertically. Okay, so let's do this. 2 and 1 fifth plus 4 and 2 fifth. So we add first the whole number. 2 plus 4 is equals to 6. And then the fraction, which is 1 fifth plus 2 fifth is equals to 3 fifth. Therefore, 2 and 1 fifth plus 4 and 2 fifth is equals to 6 and 3 fifth. Okay. Which one is easier? The first one or this one? Okay, again. Another example. We have 1 in 3 a plus 1 in 5 8. Okay, so we have 1 and 3, 8. Let's do the um, vertical method. So 1 and 3, 8 plus 1 and 5, 8. Again, we add first the whole number. So 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. And then we add the fraction. So 3 plus 5 is equals to 8 over 8. Okay, but wait. We have 8 over 8, which is equivalent to 1. So therefore, 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. So 1 and 3, 8 plus 5 in, uh, plus 1 and 5, 8 is equals to 3. Another example, we have 1, 3, 7 plus 2 and 5, 7. Okay, so 1 plus 3, over 7 plus 2 plus 5 over 7 is equals to, okay, we combine the uh, whole number, 1 plus 2, and then the fraction, 3, 7 plus 5, 7. So we have 1 plus 2 is 3, and then 3 plus 5 is 8, so 8 over 7. But we have 8 over 7, which is an improper fraction. Therefore, what is 8 over 7? 8 over 7 is also equals to 7 over 7 plus 1. What is 7 over 7? 7 over 7 is equ equivalent to 1. So we have 1 and 1 over 7. So we will use this. So again, so 3 plus 1 and 1 7 is equals to 4 in 1 7. Okay, so that's our final answer.
Okay, again, two and two thirds plus four and three fourths. Okay, so what do we do or what do you notice? Okay, right. We have unlike terms or simply different denominator. So we can we cannot add the numerator. So we we first have to solve for the common denominator. Okay. So guess what's next? We will uh, I will teach you uh, on my next blog how to solve that problem. So what's next? Guess what? Homework. Okay, okay. Try to solve this and uh, practice our lesson. Okay, again, this is Teacher Gang and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Thank you. Bye.